This week on the channel, I met up with some crazy people to ride some crazy trails. Think I'm kidding? Well, check this out. After an early start, Craig, Ben and Stu have promised to take me on an adventure to ride some of their local trails. They've guaranteed me some great natural single track with a few tasty challenges along the way. They've brought me here, to the Clent Hills, somewhere I've seen many times on video but I've never had the chance to visit. From what I've seen, there are quite a few great looking trails in the area, so the guys are going to take me down a few of their favourites. Wasting no time, they led me into the first piece of single track. Here we go. Of course, because I've never been here before, I don't know these trails at all, so I'm gonna have to try and stick close to the guy's back wheel. At this point, I should also mention that today I'm riding my hardtail. Now, Stu and Craig are on their full suspension bikes, so to keep up with them, I think I'm gonna have my work cut out for me. But I'm gonna trust in the power of my hardtail. This first section with the jumps led out onto a fast bridleway, which then took us up an interesting route to the right. This was a cool little detour, and it had this steep drop to the left. I wasn't expecting to see that, and you definitely wouldn't want to take a wrong turn and end up going off the edge. This was a pretty interesting first trail of the day. Not bad for a local off-piste line. If this is the warm-up, I can't wait to ride the rest of the trails. Now that I know the kind of features I'm up against, for this next trail, I was gonna stick right behind the others so that I know exactly what's coming next but I underestimated how fast they were gonna go and I instantly got left in their dust. So I had to kick the hardtail into gear over the roots and get cracking. This trail is a spicy number, full of small berms, roots, a few jumps and plenty of bumps. It was great fun weaving in and out of the trees and the small berms really make a difference to how well the trail flows. This top section is really flat and smooth, but towards the end, it definitely gets a lot steeper. As well as being fast and flowing, this trail also has its fair share of hidden surprises, like this. Oh, what's this? Roll. As always, I'm sure that the GoPro effects will make this entire ride look flat today. But trust me when I say that some of these trails we rode are really steep. A great testing ground for my hardtail. You can tell that this trail is a well-ridden line, and the further you go down, the more you notice loads of other lines crisscrossing in the woods. You could spend loads of time here just exploring this section alone and it wouldn't be time wasted. This was a really fun trail and a lot more technical than I first expected. Awesome. After just about making it down in one piece, it was time to head up to the next trail. Ooh, yeah. Out and about today, in total, we rode about 38 kilometers. I honestly couldn't tell you how to get back to any of these places. The boys took me all over the place to get the best trails in. As soon as we finished riding one, we were back on the road, or down a track, or up a hill, ready to drop into the next one. It really was a non-stop, action-packed ride. The next trail was a good one. It's similar to the one we just rode in that it gets steep, has some exciting corners, and some small rollable features. It starts off fast and easy, but as it crosses the fire road, it gets even more interesting. One thing that I loved about this trail is how it uses the terrain. As you can see, we're weaving all around the forest, in and out of different areas, avoiding fallen trees and using the hill really well. It's a creative, innovative and interesting line. It manages to have some steep fast sections and some slower more technical parts to it. The fact that there's dirt under your tyres also means that this trail will change with the seasons and it'll be a little different every time you ride it. This can keep things interesting and also help to make you a better rider. At less than a minute long, it isn't the longest trail you've ever ridden, but I guarantee that you won't be disappointed at the end. After riding some super steep trails, I was told that this next one is a bit more mellow. This is one that I recognise from other YouTube videos. Not that it helped me from going offline and nearly hitting a tree though. Ooh. This trail is steep in places, but had much more of a flowing feel to it. 
It was a great trail to be riding on my hardtail. In fact, this is probably one of those trails that feels better on a hardtail. Because you can feel every bump and corner, you can really make the trail a bit more exciting. You can enjoy the fast downhill sections, but you can also make the most of the corners. To be honest, with such good weather today, it was great to just be cruising through the woods with a bunch of mates, regardless of the trail. Now, although this trail isn't as gnarly as some of the other ones we'd ridden, it was still a great one to try. Now, there aren't any huge features like drops or jumps, but there's still plenty of routes to navigate and fun lines to contend with. A route like this really shows the range of trails that they have in Clent, so no matter what kind of trails you like to ride, you can probably find something that suits you here. With that trail done, it was on to the last one of the day. And the lantern saved the best trail until last. Before we head home, they wanted to take me down the Enduro Lake. This trail really does have a bit of everything. It's also the longest trail we rode today, which goes from the top of the hill all the way down to the bottom. It's a great chance to get a bit of speed under your wings and boast some impressive Strava times too. This whole Enduro line is broken into lots of little downhill sections, each one meeting up with a fire road at the bottom. I guess it's called the Enduro line because it has some uphill sprints in between the downhill sections. This is pretty similar to what you'd expect at an Enduro event. I really had to follow the others here as it's easy to take a wrong turn or miss a turn altogether. But I didn't want to be too close because some of these sections were a fast downhill with a sharp corner at the bottom. Ooh, that was deep. All great fun. At the halfway mark you have this little uphill and then into another long straight section. As you get towards the end of this you go into some trees. Now the leaves on the ground make it difficult to see where the trail goes or exactly what I was riding over. I had to keep half an eye on the trail to see what was coming and half an eye on the rider in front so that I knew where I was supposed to be going. This definitely put my multitasking skills to the test. Towards the end of the trail everything flattens out as you make your way along this wide muddy trail. This really was a fast and tricky trail at times but a brilliant one to end our ride on. <laughs> I want to get my feet wet. So if you're planning a ride here, one thing you should know about the Clent Hills is that they're really hilly. I guess the clue's in the name. I know it won't look it on camera, but the trails we rode were actually really steep, and this is a good thing. But this does mean you have a steep climb back up to the top again. So it pays to have a route planned so you can prevent yourself from having to make too many unnecessary climbs all over the place. And of course, it goes without saying, try and respect other users of the area. This should be the same for all locations. This is an awesome destination for riding and it would be a shame if mountain biking wasn't allowed here anymore. So be polite, clear up your litter and enjoy. So a huge thank you to Ben, Craig and Stu for showing me around. I would never have been able to find any of these trails without you. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button to follow the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. What's he called? Tibetan throats and yeah. something like that. <laughs> and he stands in the middle of our kitchen and just goes like this. <sighs> He's much better at it than, than I can. Oh man, it was hilarious. So I.